Tomorrow, 12.30, Bean Shower, Katay's Park. It's all that simple. Come rain or shine, you better turn up. If it, rain, if it rains, just bring an umbrella. It's quite simple, isn't it? And if it's sunny, bring some shades. Uh, basically, the beans are bought. I'll uh, just pop and get those for you. Come on, yeah. Come with me. Follow me. We're going to go through a little tour of the house again. Uh, right, so... I did go to Asda first, but I thought, oh... Those beans won't do. So I then went to Waitrose, you know, because... If you're a good friend of mine, you probably know that I'm a little bit snobby at times. <laughs> but, yeah. Here are the beans. I've actually got uh, eight tins of beans and they're all ready to go over my head tomorrow. Uh, and obviously, there's still a BYOB policy if you want to bring your own beans or if you're really wanting to be cheeky, you can bring some ravioli or spaghetti hoops or alphabetti spaghetti. I love alphabetic spaghetti back in the day, obviously. Uh, but yeah, bring those if you want. Chuck them in the big bowl or bucket. I mean... There'll be... Have I got a bucket around here? A bowl? Yeah! Here we go. So basically, I'll be popping all the beans in a bowl like this. May need to be bigger actually if everyone's bringing stuff to put over my head. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> if you, pro if you, you probably saw the last video, the first video, so you know pretty much what goes on. Uh, and... Yeah, if you turn up, awesome, that is absolutely brilliant, and, you know, I try and um, thank you for coming by, uh, you know, linking your Facebook up, or just saying, I don't know, I'll offer you something, for sure, maybe some splashback from the beans, you know, as a thank you for coming, uh, so don't wear a white shirt like I will be, because, you know, you'll be going home like the tango man, covered in orange, <laughs> anyway, lovely to speak to you. Uh, uh, there's so much more I can do to help, and I realise that. Uh, but this blog, for me, it, it's not only about helping other people, It is there is a large element of helping myself to it, of course. Uh, I really don't want to go back to this sort of depression and not wanting to live. Uh, I never want to go back to that, and I think the way out is to keep yourself active, and and to accept that when you're in a really difficult circumstance, when you're suffering from extreme anxiety except that little things can be your big goals, you know? Because the little things are the foundations, the building blocks for your future. And you ne nobody's ever expected to, you know, let's just trot out an old cliche, Rome wasn't built in a day, put it that way. Ugh, I hate myself for saying that. But yeah, just, I feel that Society can be really harsh on each other. There's not, there's not much love going about, you know? And I think that's what we need to tap into. I've been trying to tell my parents recently. I've been trying to get closer to them, you know. I've tried to say, love you, you know, to them. Uh, and just tried to hug them more. And I think that we're all in need of relationships full of love and respect and it takes a long time and a lot of resilience and quite a few arguments to get to the to the crux of love but yeah maybe i'm gonna be starting to bore you now so i'm going to start speaking in a scottish accent because you know i think it's just got a bit boring now so basically guys i'll be uh, speaking to you tomorrow i'll see you at the Cate's park yeah god that's a sh shocking scottish accent but yeah i'm practicing it for the scottish accent for the acting class the theater class whatever i'm going to uh 
the first lesson I went to last week, one of my first lines was to say, you minge to someone. You minge. Who says you minge as an insult these days? Maybe it's just because I'm Welsh or something. I don't understand. I don't know. Anyway, thank you to all of the bloggers and all of the Facebookers and all my mates that are really supporting me through this and helping out, liking the videos. And thank you so much as well to those who are going to be turning up tomorrow. It means so much to me. I mean, I think I'll be a bit taken aback, you know, if, if just more than five or six people turn up, you know, who weren't there last time, I'll be overwhelmed because it shows that I'm touching a chord and it shows that this is an issue people really care about. <sighs> right. <laughs> That's done now. I shall speak. <laughs> I shall speak to you tomorrow and I hope to see you at Cate's Park. Good night to you all, lovers. <laughs>